Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our case of reservoir simulation for CCS, carbon capture and sequestration in geological storage. Actually, we want to study CO2 injection into an aquifer and we will do that using CMG. So previously we have constructed the reservoir model. Okay. And next is we want to prepare the component. And for CMG, we will do that in WinProp. Okay, so from here, from Wilder, we go back to CMG Technology Launcher. And this is our file, co2injection.dat. Now we will go to the, this one, WinProp. Okay, let's wait. Okay, this, this is the window for WinProp. All right, so you can follow me. The first one is the title. The title, equation of state, and the units. All right. First, we, win, we want to define the, the title, the name of the case, for example. I will just call it, for example, WinProp underscore CO2 injection, like this. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. You can also add the title, first line, line two and line three. And then we need to define the equation of state. The default setting is Peng Robinson, 1978. If you open the drop down menu, we can select Peng Robinson, 76, Sofa Redley Kwong, GND, I forget what GND stands for, and Sofa Redley Kwong. In this case, I recommend you to use Peng Robinson, okay? But you can also exercise using other equation of state. And for the unit, we will use metric units. So it will be KPA, kilopascal and degree Celsius or degree centigrade and fit in terms of mole. But you can also play with mass. Okay, so looking at this three, simulation data set, simulation steps, we have defined the title, we have selected the equation of state and we set the units. And we continue with this one under the three component selection properties. Okay, select this one. All right, you can see we have in this window component and then this coefficient, all right, viscosity, aqueous phase and model option. We will focus on the component. Here we will insert components from library, but we can also insert our own properties. For example, for the heavier component like C7 plus or C20 plus heavier components like that, right? In some software, we use the term of pseudo component or user component. They are the same actually, but we will not use a very complicated components in our case in this video. So we will go to insert component from library in lib open. So inside our library, we have many components like this. In this video, in this exercise, we will only involve CO2 of course. So just click CO2 and then click this button. And then the next component is methane, CH4. Okay, so very easy. We click OK. Now we have this table. The name of the component, all right, and then the critical pressure in atmosphere, critical temperature in Kelvin, and then eccentric factor, molecular weight, all of this information are extracted from CMG library. So don't worry about the accuracy of these values. All right. And read the note. There are more options to input values for volume shift, 
volume shift coefficient and Henry. So it should be about solubility constant, the Henry's constant. Right mouse click their column header. So if you do like this, right click, we can set to zero, set to interface correlation value, use internal correlation for the corresponding context menus. Okay. But we will skip that exercise. We can click apply change. The number and or order of components have been changed. Please verify the composition. Yes. Click OK. All right. So from here, we will go to the next step, which is, of course, the composition. All right. 